Hey, my name is Chris Bosley, and uh, I just tried uploading a video to YouTube, and I got the um, the media battery warning attack um, ex exploit uh, executed on the phone. It's almost like uh, they're scripting it, or somebody is up watching. It's a uh, 3:29 in the morning. This happened about an hour ago, I guess. 2:29. So I tried uploading a, a video, and then um, as I tried uploading the video, the okay, it should work now. Is it gonna work? Yeah. Okay. So now it's uploading. So now we're gonna see if the attack hits. If the attack hits again, oh, the upload has failed. Okay. So this happened the first time as well. The upload failed, and I had to go back. Try uploading again. So they have all these attacks on the phone. They they root on the phone. Uh, they um, are interacting with the web browser. I think they have an overlay on the web browser or some other really highly advanced attack. And um, uh, they can basically, you know, if they don't want me going to a website, uh, they can block it. If um, they want to manipulate or if they want to manipulate me by stopping me from uploading they can it seems like they can do that uh, you see this happens every time this is a, a, a pattern um, I'll, I'll turn the browser on it won't accept it it's like there's two browsers it won't upload the first one because there's no media it's like um, they have an overlay on it's like this is the attack they have an overlay over the imagine this they have they have root access to my phone and they do this with all the computers as well. They have root access to the phone, root access to the computer, and um, when they when they access the computer or the phone, they are running parallel to operating system. For example, I'll talk while this goes up, and hopefully the battery warning won't come on. But if it comes on, then you'll see that this is scheduled and scripted. Last time it, it turned on at about 56%. Um, and you'll see right now the um, battery is charging. And um, it is in fact charging. Um, uh, so what they do is they hit, the, what they do is they hit the, they hit the hardware directly. They don't, they, they can set up the wireless persistently. But they were hitting me that way before through the wireless, I think, and I would turn the wireless off and they were hitting it through the wireless card. I don't know how they were doing it or some other method. And then um, I stopped using internet, ethernet, and then they were still hitting the machines. They were still accessing the machines and, and owning the machines, changing files, uh, touching files, accessing files. And so I removed my wireless cards and my Bluetooth cards and all the machines I, I had used, and they were still accessing them. They were still touching files. They were still accessing the machines, that, even though not when I had the wireless cards removed. At that point, I thought it was so dangerous. Um, it was too dangerous to keep using the machines because if they can access the machines when the wireless cards and, and Bluetooth cards are removed, then they were obviously monitoring the machines 100% of the time, all the time which is really upsetting because my partner worked for a company and she's a you know she's a professional so they were watching all her work that she did at home uh, like a parasite pig like a like a swine like like filthy perverted peeping toms sitting in a tree but it's not just it's not just the guys it's the girls too their wives they partake too you know they wander around and um, you know, I, when I first moved here, the um, the guy next door, his wife, would watch me as I walked my wife to the... Um, there it is. Okay, there you go. See? Calm media bad every morning. And uh, it's uploading at 18... Unfortunately, media battery. Your video is still uploading. Please keep this page open. I never touched that. Um, I never touched it. Uh, I wasn't touching it, I was just talking, and the battery warning came on. So see, it's scripted. They're monitoring my um, internet, they're monitoring my phone, they're monitoring my behavior, and when, when I upload to the internet, the battery 
uh, warning comes on. Now my battery is not charging. And that that's the attack. See how it started? It was they do things step by step. I was saying before the the calm warning came on that um, they're pigs. They sit there like disgusting swine, like filthy. Um, there's no words. It's been three years, and since day one, they've been filthy, disgusting pigs. They've been instigating since day one. The first week we were here at 1.15 in the morning, he, he, he had a party the first week, week, week we were here. We had moved in, and then on Wednesday, had a big, loud birthday party with all his dickhead friends. There was about... And, you know, they were making so much noise, it was like a huge party, but it was like only three or four people. You could tell it was instigatory. You could tell it was on purpose. Oh, yeah, it's my birthday party, he goes whatever so he leaves and um his friends he gives his friends the keys to the place and that um the very next night at two o'clock in the morning they're one thirty, two o'clock in the morning they're stomping up and down up and down the stairs uh making noise and you know my wife's got to go to work in the morning and they're stomping and the stairs are bolted into the wall and so when you walk up and down them they make this horrible noise through this the shitty brick wall and uh you can you can hear everything so i mean and they were wearing their hard heel shoes and uh at two o'clock in the morning you could tell it was intentional and then he comes back and of course his oh it wasn't me you know and that's how they do things they get their friends to do things for them or they hide behind their kids you know or they'll they'll um do something to hurt you and then they'll hide behind their kids and say oh you know i'm just a family guy I'm just a Bible college student. I'm just a family guy. So, um, yeah, that's the way it is. And that's the way these people uh, have done things since since we've lived here. Um, so, back to, you know, attacking the machines. Everything they do is now the battery one came on. My phone is burning up. It's not charging it's not charging, it's just burning up right now, getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. And so, yeah, I think that's an exploit they used. Uh, they've, and this is MTK. It's a company that um, makes cell phones, and now it's starting to make uh, smart TVs. So I would stay away from MTK, because uh, I don't think they're um, very careful with their applications. And I think that I had this phone for only a few days. And these people either one knew about the exploit previously, or two, it took them only a few days to find the exploit. And you, either either way, it it's bad, and I would just stay away from MediaTek. Um. Uh, so, what they do is they hit the operating system, so you don't really know how they're getting in. Uh, uh, they they did it for months and months and months. So finally, I like I said, removed my wireless and Bluetooth cards, and uh, I was hoping that would work. But they still access the machines. So this is like a full-on professional um, racket racketeering thing they got going on here. I, I don't think there's any um, I don't think there's any morality in their behavior except that they are doing it. And they're justifying their behavior, saying that um, they serve Jesus and uh, they're doing good for the church. But everybody else uh, lies in their wake. And uh, we're completely innocent. We never did anything since we moved here. They completely harassed us since day one. And now they are, you know, using these crimes and using this technology to cover their ass. And there's lots of Anglicans, like, for example, Van de Gould, who should be in prison for uh, tax evasion, but he got... Um, he got his court case got dropped and it got let off. Van de Gould is an accountant here in Sydney, an Anglican accountant. There was a seven-year tax evasion um, investigation put on by the federal um, government, and he 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 got off. Uh, something happened with the data, or something happened with the federal police. They screwed up somehow. I'm guessing they lost data. I'm guessing uh, files were corrupted. And I'm guessing that if they were corrupted, it was the ang people like the Anglican students here that did it. And it's a big racket. It's a very, very big... There's several, several, lots and lots of people involved with this. And they all have, like, full-time jobs, I think. I think the church is like... It's like a... I think it's like a, like a little subgroup. And they, and they pick people out of the church and they groom them to work for the Australian cybersecurity 
division. I mean, they've got $350 million allocated to it, to uh, cybersecurity. $350 million. Uh, what's, the, what's the defense budget for most countries? $350 million set aside by the Australian government, and that's just what they claim. That's not what they're putting underneath the table. Set aside to, um, uh, for cybersecurity. So I can guarantee you that uh, this is huge, and I can guarantee you that they're all over the world. So when you see them Australians on the on their flights to America and Canada, and their IT guys and computer guys, I, I I'm thinking that you know they might be knowing how to do this stuff, and they might be going to North America to uh, you know uh, do some spying, do some data collecting, uh, see what they can get, see what they can see. So. Uh, it's very dangerous, and um, that was a, a prime example. Um, so now my phone is toast. Um, hope I don't know if the battery will come back on, or if it will stay off until I, I shut down the phone. Usually, I have to shut down the phone. And uh, with the processing, I don't know. Um, that's why I'm letting it go because I want. Oh, it's processing at one percent, four percent. Okay. So I thought maybe the battery uh, process had stopped somehow, stopped the processing, so it wouldn't uh, upload. Anyways, so um, it looks like it's going to finish uploading. Um, I'm going to finish uh, typing this up and, and see if I can upload another video. So thank you for your time. And um, uh, yeah, be wary um, of them, of people who call themselves Christians carrying a computer. <laughs> no, but really, these guys, um, look, lots of, look, seriously, lots of, uh, lots of good people are Christians. Lots of good people are Muslims, but these people are neither. These people are just bad people with computers and, and powerful technology, and they're hurtful, and they're mean, and they're nasty, and they can destroy lives. Seriously, they can shut down your life. They can make it so you can't use your computer. They can watch everything that you do, and uh, they've been doing it to us for three years. So um, I'm hoping that um, people can figure out in Senra how it works and why it, um, or uh, how it uh is affected how these people are connecting to remote air gap machines and hopefully um, it can be stopped in an alternative computer platform that can actually be private can be um, invented or created so have a nice day